Yeah, they've got a lot of great music, Brokeback Mountain. Rufus. Today, we'll salute horses. I understand. Rufus Wainwright has uh, got a great song. Uh, that's know. a shocker that he would be part of this. Yeah, it's a gay. What, uh, what song did he do? I don't know what the song is. I'll fuck you on the saddle is the name of the song. <laughs> he's a uh, gay, but, you know. So what? Let's not label people. I understand. You know, I'll bring Fez into this if you want to bring it up. For what? I love uh, Nothing. I'm just saying you're my ace in the hole of the Brokeback Fountain. Willie Nelson. Gay? Gay. Is everyone in Texas gay? <laughs> I think so. Weird. Steers and, and queers, Harris. and there ain't no more steers. What? <laughs> Uh, Mikey boy, I noticed that you look like you haven't got much sleep since this baby, huh? N- uh, not last couple weeks, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you look like you've just been on a run, a coke run. That's the <laughs> thing about having a baby. You have the same look as you do as when you're on a fu- on the fucking long end of a run. Like, it's all coming down. Yeah. It's it's uh, The slight sleep cycle completely screwed up, so she's up from about 1 o'clock till 5 o'clock in the morning every night. Yeah. Here is uh, David. David, you're on the uh, Run of Fez show. Good morning, buddy. Hey, buddy. Paulo, Mike. Hey, um, first thing, Ron, if you're trying to do a science project to discover life, yeah. may I suggest sea monkeys? Well, I and did. Other, I tried to do sea monkeys and uh, Rice Krispies together. See what okay. I can come up with. <laughs> okay, the other. Really yeah. tasty sea monkeys. <laughs> right on. They're all gone. The, yeah, the Catholic Church came out against blood rain, but did you know the Catholic priests have all come out in favor of. Brookback Mountain. Thank you very which, much. Which reminds me of a Titanic joke. Did you guys hear about the gay cowboy on the Titanic? Do it. Well, there was a pediatrician, a uh, lawyer, and a gay cowboy. And just when the Titanic was really in trouble, the pediatrician goes, "Oh, we got to save the children first. The, pe- the uh, attorney goes, "Fuck the children." The gay cowboy. Do we have time? Thank you very much. So you take a priest good. joke. And you just now change it to the gay cowboy. You see what you've done, Polo? It's, it's because it's topical. Oh, yeah. That is true. you got to stay topical out there. you got to stay topical at all times. And I, and I don't no, I'm not going to break anymore, Earl. There's no saying, sense in it. Are you saying uh, priests are, are, are now cowboys? I don't, quite I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Tim has a question for you. Uh, and here it is. Tim, you're on with Polo. His life's a movie. Dick and Jane with uh, Jim Carrey. That looks like a strong uh, Oscar. Yeah, you've never promoted this film. You've never reviewed it. And I'm a big Jim Carrey fan, and it looks pretty funny. There's a lot of films I haven't promoted. I haven't promoted The Producers or Rent. Well, let's do that. That's what you should be reviewing. Why the hate, Polo? Uh, The fun with Dick and Jane. I'm a big uh, James Carrey uh, uh, supporter. Why so formal? Because I think he, I think that's the only way he's going to get an Oscar if he changes his name from Jim to James or something. That's how it was on In Living Color. And yeah, exactly. And I mean, it, 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 this is uh, you know one of his funny movies, and I want him to only do serious Oscar bait type movies from now. I don't want. Why him don't we review the re- review of the film that's out? What do you the, think of Dick and Jane? Film, it, it's a remake of the the George Siegel uh, Jane Fonda movie, and I mean it wasn't funny the first time. And he's you know he's he's he makes his best best effort to try and make it funny, but I mean it's it's not one of his better efforts. So I I wasn't I wasn't promoting it, I wasn't pushing it. You I'll, didn't even review it. I, Here's uh, Elmer. Elmer, say hi to Paul O. And Tia Leone, hey, guys. Of what's up, buddies? Hey, buddy. Hey. Um, first off, Fezzi, I told you when you came down for Christmas, I was going to take you out the sweet tomatoes. You never called me. Yeah, I had a very busy Christmas weekend. Sorry, Elmer. He's uh, able to buy his own salad. <laughs> it's not just salad. It's soup uh, as well. Is it also soup, Fez? Yeah, lots of soup. Yeah, there's soups. I only now go to the soup Nazi. Fucking <laughs> phenomenal. Second thing, yeah. um, I, we had talked about this before. I thought that we were going to start a you know, movement to get rid of Paul Lowe and move him with Big Kev. But Paul Lowe, you want to be replaced by Big Kev? Well, first of all, Big Kev is already punked out so badly. And I, I understand he has, a, he has a mafia. He has a group of a contingent uh, of... He's people. also recuperating from major surgery. That's a, oh, well, this is a good time to hit him when he's down. Good. So it's all you, Paul Lowe. I'm sorry. And then, of course, you know, we haven't talked about any of the music. Look at the way the president stands. I don't understand it. <laughs> Why push your dick out at everybody? I don't know. 
What he's he? just <laughs> leading with the pelvis. He is bent at the waist, but backward. Yeah. There was a scene today of Cheney talking somewhere. He looked like he was three feet tall. I don't know whether he came and sat down at the podium, but it looked nuts. Yeah. We were actually, uh, I was talking with a bunch of people about, you know, whether we think uh, the current administration is sexy and would, would anybody have sex with them. And I, I don't know. I mean, to me, I don't think uh, Bush deserves the reason. Wow, the now. conversations that go on down at the abortion <laughs> clinic. <laughs> What did you come up with? I'm saying he doesn't deserve a reach around. I mean, you know, he's, you know. You just pound him from behind. That's the way you talk about the president of the United States. He's from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> now look at him. Look at him, gla- look at him glaring at people. He looks like he doesn't know what to do with his arms. He's got yeah. the other side. They ought to take him off for him. Those aren't his arms. <laughs> he doesn't wear them like he's used to them. No. That's for sure. Like maybe they're brand new. <laughs> look, he couldn't lift that hand to shake that other guy's hand. I like when he's surrounded by people who like him. It's a whole different attitude. Yeah, there's white guys in suits. Old white guys. And they I wish they would just play my Sharona every time he comes out, since he loves <laughs> the song. That should be his new tune, <laughs> that he walks. Uh, here's uh, Fred. Fred, you're on Run Fez. I want to know which asshole called Willie Nelson gay. I, guess I didn't call him gay. I'm just saying he's in the gay cowboy movie. He has his phone. I'll tell you what. what you, how you, did you suck his dick? Did no, I didn't gay? see that. that answer that. Apollo. <laughs> did you? I'm telling you. Gay? What the fuck's the matter? Willie Nelson is supporting the gays is all I'm saying. He's well, behind them. You need to pull your head out of your ass because you No, listen to me, sir. Listen to me, sir. This is, Man, you know, it sounds like he's calling everybody from the <laughs> South gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, God damn it. I, what about people from Alabama, Polo? I'm telling you, get over it. What sir. about George Wallace, what gay? It doesn't matter, sir. I'm just saying, Paul, I'm not, you must be the goddamn homo. You don't know what the fuck you're talking no, about. No, he no, said no. the Bear Bryant was gay. I'm saying that Willie Nelson says, please accept him, Well, sir. you don't say nothing bad about Willie Nelson. I'm not saying. Right? That's not a bad yeah, thing. Is that a bad like thing? It. Did I say a bad thing? If I called him gay, it wouldn't be saying a bad. So you're a, you're a big fan, are you, Fred, of Willie Nelson? Oh, I love Willie. Well, la di da. I swear to you, sir, the end credit song is a Willie Nelson song. I swear to you, a broken. I man. like it in the ass. I like to have my balls lick. I'm crazy, old Willie Nelson. Fuck night play. I guess uh, that's what you're saying. He's singing. It's, uh, I, I, I have I'm to get... saying is, you Yankees need to get off your high horse. <laughs> Seriously, no. get down and... and... <laughs> exactly. Billy Nelson says, accept them, sir. He's, <laughs> He's so <laughs> You Yankees. Hey, did you suck that dick down me right now? Until you got that dick on your tongue, you don't know one way or the other. You don't want one way or the other. And tell that sperm sitting in the back of your mouth, you can't be sure. You got to taste it. You got to produce the evidence, Polo. Although your homos have always been cowboys. You got to have. You have that jizz. That's out of. Uh, you crossed the line there. You crossed the line.